Hi, I'm Tanisha. Today we're gonna make it summer with Apple Barrel, Mod Podge, and Walmart. Today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to upcycle or decorate new pillows. On this one, we're going to use a simple household sponge to create this cute lemon print with Apple Barrel paint. Next up, we're gonna use Mod Podge fabric to applique fabric to a pillowcase. And on this one, we're gonna use Apple Barrel paint to splatter. For these three projects, you're gonna need various paint brushes, Waverly Inspirations fabric, Mod Podge fabric, a pair of scissors, a household sponge, an Apple Barrel multi-surface in paradise pink, white, Acapulco, and golden yellow. I'm gonna cut my half sponge into a half circle to create my lemon shape. You're going to dip it in paint, offload it a bit, and use it as a stamp. Now that I've finished stamping all my lemon slices, we're gonna make little white seeds. To do that, I'm gonna cut out a teardrop shape out of my scrap. Now I'm gonna take my teardrop shape and use it as a stamp, just like we did the slices. Offload my paint, choose a slice. To create this fun applique pillow, I've created a background piece laid on top of it strips of fabric, and then created this rosette. Now I've already cut out my fabric pieces, the first one being my background. So I cut this out in the same size as the pillow. To create this nice stiff seam, I used an iron. And then you'll see I've cut strips in varying sizes, and we're gonna glue these down with Mod Podge fabric. To create our three-dimensional rosette, you're going to want to cut out circles in varying sizes. I have about five. And we're just going to tack this down in the center. And if you want, you can do a couple little tacks to create some dimension, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna get that down in the center, and then find where you're sticking, and you can create little wrinkles. And we're gonna do that with each layer. And you can come back and restyle it as you go. And this one, I'm gonna do quite a few of those front-facing petal seams so that it folds in like a real flower. Next up, we're gonna work on this fun and funky splatter paint pillow. To begin this, we're gonna base coat our pillowcase in our teal color. Now that we've gotten to the fun part, you'll wanna put down some paper to protect your workspace. I recommend a couple different tools. Regular paint brushes work great, but you can also use old toothbrushes and other things you find around the house. For more project ideas and inspiration, go to flatonline.com. 